Welcome back, everybody, to the Allegheny Health Network Nightly Sports Call. I'm Josh Taylor, in for Bob Pompiani. Joining me in studio is Gene Collier. Taking your phone calls on the Bordis and Bordis Hotline, 412-575-2600 is the number. Also taking your tweets at Josh Taylor HD. Let's check Twitter here for a second. We have Andy, who's asking about Starling Marte, and says, what is the reason that Marte would be ineligible for postseason play? It seems like he served his time with the suspension. He would be ineligible for the same reason why your parents tell you not to do things, because they say so. He would be ineligible for postseason play because Major League Baseball says so, because it's part of the rule. He could serve his time during a regular season, but he becomes uh, ineligible for postseason play because that's the rule. That's the only explanation I have. Anything to add, Gene? I know, you, I know you're well, not very keen on Starling well, Marte returning was, to the uh, you know, That was negotiated with the Players Association. It's, right. it's not just a draconian, you can't play in the playoffs. Yeah. The, the Players Association agreed to that as another um, you know, disenhancement, if you will, to do what players like Marte have done. That's yeah, it's, it's not because if it's any kind of extra punishment for anybody in particular, that's the case because it's the actual rule. Right. And that was collectively bargained. So it, is, it does fall into that because I kind of, kind of because I said something, but that was more of a really bad joke. Um, anyway, let's go to the phone lines. Let's go to Bill and Overbrook. Bill, you're on the Natalie Sports Call. Hey, guys. Hey, I just was wanted to say that I love my Pittsburgh sports teams, but uh, I don't think they should blow up the Pirates right now. Okay, um, I think they have a good, solid thing. I just think with Marte, and uh, can you tell me when Jung Ho Gung's going to come back? But um, they need another starting pitcher, and I think they could contend next year. You know, if they could get a starting pitcher, like you said, Josh, uh, booster the bullpen, they get they get Marte back. He could come back with a vengeance. He made a mistake. We all make mistakes in life, and get Gang back and uh, Jung Ho Gung and and see where it goes, right? Well, appreciate the call. Here's how I feel about that. I know a lot of people, it, I don't know if it's because it's a condition thing or if it's just a Pirates fan base thing, but there is this thing where you have to be at either one extreme or the other. And the only solution for the one extreme is the opposite extreme. I, I'm kind of right in the middle in this one. I'm not sure if I like the thought of them trading off every movable piece either. I actually kind of agree with Ron Cook's uh, column from today. Uh, Gene, where he talked about, you know, maybe you move off the guys that are going to be free agents. Move off a Tony Watson, maybe a John Jaso, maybe a Juan Nicasio, because maybe you can get some return back for those guys. But the guys who could be fixtures for you next year, the Andrew McCutcheons, the Garrett Coles, you know, if you don't have a, in, a need to right now move them, if it's not something that's, you know, that demanding, why do it now when you can still build for 2018 and still keep most of this team intact? Yeah, I think our caller would really enjoy Ron Cook's column today, so I commend it to you. He's pretty much agreeing with you, and I pretty much agree with him. I mean, if, if you're looking at it in terms of just trying to figure out pieces for next year, because everybody's saying, well, you know, make some trades and rebuild for next year. You really don't have to rebuild for next year if you keep a lot of what's already in place. You have two more years of Garrett Cole in salary arbitration. You really don't have to make that decision now. Now, if you made that decision come this time next year, when he has one year left of salary arbitration before he hits free agency, maybe that's a different discussion. But if you have another year at least – to make that decision with him. Same thing with Andrew McCutcheon. I don't think people are really grasping the fact that they can pick up that option and they don't have to move him now. There's still the option at Neil Huntington and say, you know what, we can give it one more run next year, and if it doesn't work out next year, then maybe you trade him and try to blow it up and see what happens. I don't think you have to press that button right away. Uh, back to Twitter here for a second. We have a couple more questions. Uh, Jason asks, who do you think will have the better season in football this year, Pitt or uh, Penn State? And I actually love the timing of this question. We're getting towards mid-July. That's when I start to get my interest in college football going. I'm a big college football fan, so I'm getting to that point where I'm starting to get expecting to see it. And then we're hearing the uh, preseason announcements for watch lists, guys like um, Jordan Whitehead and also Quadri Henderson nominated for Pitt and then four guys nominated for Penn State. But to answer uh, Jason's question, I would expect the better season to come from Penn State. I think Penn State has more guys coming back that are useful this year. I think McSorley and Barkley are both on pace to have huge years. I think they have a lot of experience coming back on defense. And there's a lot of question marks outside of Jordan Whitehead and a couple other guys on Pitt's defense. There's a lot of question marks. Does Pitt's defense really get better? Do they really get to that level that Pat Nardu Pat Nardu defense to really work? I don't know if they're there yet, but I think Penn State has a lot more in place right now. But, Gene, I'm curious how you feel about this season. That's out. exactly what I was going to say word for word. That's very rare that you and I actually agree word for word. So we'll, we'll take that as it is. We'll move along. We'll go back. Actually, we'll take a break here, and then we'll come back. We'll answer more phone calls and more tweets when we come back. Stick around.